Oh, you do it here. <laughs> Your grandma tells me her grandson's some fancy environment lawyer down in Cincinnati. I am a corporate defense attorney. So? I defend chemical companies. Well, now you can defend me. How many did you lose? 190. 190 calves. You tell me nothing's wrong here. It's a small matter for a family friend. Help a guy who needs it. A farmer or you? That's chemicals, I'm telling you. I'm seeing documents I don't understand. They're hiding something. That chemical. What if you drank it? Drank it? It's like saying, what if I swallowed a tire? What if whatever's killing those cows is in the drinking water? At DuPont. Better living through chemistry. It's our DNA. You need to tell me what the hell's going on. DuPont is knowingly poisoning 70,000 local residents for the last 40 years. He knew. Still, he did nothing. You want to flush your career down the toilet for some cow hand? You want to take everything that you know and turn it against an iconic American company like an informant. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yes. They have all the money, all the firepower, and they'll use it. I know. I was one of them. Our government is captive to DuPont. They're trying to force you to make me stop. He was willing to risk his job, his family, for a stranger who needed his help. The system is rigged. They want us to think it'll protect us. Protect us. We do. Please welcome to the stage Rob Balot, environmental attorney and author of the upcoming book Exposure. Afternoon really want to thank you for the opportunity to be here this afternoon. It's, it's really an honor. I'll tell you, it's uh, definitely surreal to be watching Mark Ruffalo uh, playing myself on the, on the screen in a major motion picture. <laughs> um, but, I'll, uh, but I'll tell you, there's, there's one thing, though, that we can see from, from the release of this movie I'm happy to see that I think we're finally going to see a light shining on an issue that I've been working on now for almost 20 years. And that's trying to bring public awareness and attention to a massive public health threat. And what I'm talking about here is a health threat presented by the chemical PFOA. It's part of a family of chemicals you may have heard to lately referred to as PFOS. You know, I think most of us in this room are familiar with the lead crisis in Flint, Michigan. We involved one city dealing with a contaminant in the drinking water. But the issue that this movie talks about, the book is going to talk about as well, we're talking about contamination of hundreds, if not thousands, of water supplies. And not just in one state, but across this entire country, in the entire world. And we're talking about a chemical that is a completely man-made toxin that has a variety of toxic effects, including cancers. And this material has this uncanny ability that once it's out in the environment, once it's in our water supplies, once it gets released out into the soil, it stays there virtually forever. You hear these materials referred to now as forever chemicals because of that. Not only does this stuff get out and stay in our environment, it stays in living things. It builds up in the blood of virtually every animal that's exposed. We're talking about exposure that now spans the globe. The chemicals being found in polar bears, in Arctic ice. But the most disturbing aspect of it is this chemical gets in us. It sticks into our blood. It builds up to higher and higher levels over time. Right now, we're talking about a chemical contamination of virtually the entire planet. Almost every person on the planet now has these chemicals in their blood. 
of the people in this country have this chemical now in their blood. Babies are born with the chemical already in their blood on the day they're born. Yet, where are the alarm bells? Where, where are the national headlines like you saw with Flint, Michigan? Why, why are we not hearing about this? I can tell you what we're dealing with here has been a situation involving decades of concerted efforts to conceal this information from the public. You're gonna see that in the movie, in the book. Efforts to prevent all of us from putting all of these facts together and understanding exactly what happened. It wasn't until a farmer from West Virginia, you saw him there on the screen, Mr. Tennant, came to my office 20 years ago asking about what was possibly killing his cows, that we launched a lawsuit against DuPont and were able to find out and actually begin to understand that this chemical even existed. And what we saw on the company's files was not only was the company well aware of the chemical, but they had been studying it and testing it for decades. And there were a variety of toxic effects, including cancers. They had been studying animals, they had been studying workers, and they knew it had been getting out into drinking water for decades and into our blood for decades. Yet the government and the regulators and the public hadn't been told. Even after I took efforts to try to disclose that information to the public 18 years ago, there were concerted efforts to prevent warnings about this health threat. Efforts that, took, that went on for years within our federal agencies. We heard, well, there's not sufficient evidence to show this actually calls harm to people. We did a massive human health study, one of the biggest ever done, 69,000 people, proving that the chemical can cause cancer. Took DuPont to trial and actually proved that their chemical caused cancer in the people drinking it and that the company was aware of the risks yet consciously disregarded them and tried to cover those risks up. Yet here we are today, almost 20 years later, and most of the country probably has still never even heard of this chemical. And I'm hoping that with the release of this movie and with the release of my book coming out in October called Exposure, where we go into the details here, that people will finally understand the, the true nature and extent of this public health threat and that we'll have the ability and tools to protect ourselves and to demand action be taken to stop it and to fix the problem. Thank you.